That's yes. from Sheeta Gregory. Yes. So if you receive the judgment, I'll start with that one first. Um, in order to get a judgment removed, you would actually have to um, deal with it in court. Uh, and that's just the, the unfortunate nature about it, that even if you even if we get it removed from your credit report, right, they can still have access to it because, believe it or not, there are actually eight other smaller credit bureaus that most people, most people don't know about. You know, mm -hmm. there's check systems, there's, there's LexisNexis, um, there's Innovis, there are other ones as well. And so when you do get a judgment, believe it or not, these now, as of 2024, for um, evictions, they don't report well, they don't always report to your to the three credit three major credit bureaus. They'll then report to one of the other ones, such as Innovis. And so then when you're trying to do something, they would then pull that. So in terms of evictions, evictions are something that we've dealt with, you know, we've dealt with in the past. And one thing about an eviction is that the landlord will fight tooth and nail. They'll fight tooth and nail to make sure that it remains on your credit report. And um, understandably so, understandably so. Um, I own real estate, I own investment properties. Um, I, I've, you know, dealt with, you know, some people and, um, but it, you know, it's, it's circumstantial, it's circumstantial. And I would say that the best thing to do in that particular situation is to work something out with the landlord, okay? Work something out with the landlord. Um, call them because you know. Let me say it like this: landlords they have to pay their bills. They have to pay their mortgages. Okay, they're not like your average bank or the collection agencies or these Fortune 500 companies that have millions and millions of dollars to to spare. They're not like them. When you're dealing with now apartment complexes, I have a serious issue with these apartment complexes. And I'm not going to, we'll, we'll talk about the apartment complexes shortly, but I'm referring to if, you know, if you were renting from um, an individual who, you know, owned a home, but then they rented out the home to the home to uh, yourself. A lot of, believe it or not, a lot of them, they're struggling to get by. Okay. They have to pay their bills. They have to pay the mortgages. They have to pay the repairs on the home. Um, so it, it's it's very hard even for people who own homes and they're renting them out because of the economy and the nature of the economy with everything going up, the um the supplies that it takes them to repair the home, all of that has increased. So if you go to Home Depot, things like three times as high as they were, um, mm -hmm. in many cases, not all, uh, when it comes to you know everything, you know the insurance in many places, the home insurance in many places has gone up, right? So. Those of you, if you're renting right now, you know, please just don't take advantage of um, the economy or anything as it relates to, you know, you staying in someone's home. Be respectful. And I would say, now granted, everyone is different, but I would say that if you do reach out to the landlord and have a conversation with them and let them know, hey, I'm trying to do this. Um, what we can do is we can actually, you know, I, I can pay you this particular money i know that trust me I, I know both sides i know both sides so i'm not saying that they're not landlords that get that get over on people okay i'm not saying that so please don't think that but what i am saying is that uh just work something out with them and tell them that you would like to get it removed from your credit report you need something in writing okay and you can draft it up yourself mm -hmm. you can draft up a contract tell them that you're willing to pay the debt back right or even if you don't have all of it at the time say that I could be making, you know, I'll make monthly payments, et cetera. How you like to work it out, draft up a contract because we like to have everything in writing. Okay. That's the way that we can, you know, we destruct, we construct our business. Okay. Have everything in writing, let them know, Hey, this is the contract. I wanted to pay it off, but you have to agree in, in the contract. It will say that after you have paid it off, that they'll remove it from your credit report. And, or if you do have a judgment that they'll go downtown and get the, the judgment removed. Mm -hmm. That's one of the better ways because, um, again, they will fight tooth and nail if you are staying um, in, you know, in like a single family home. It's a lot easier with apartment complexes for us to fight them because everyone is just a simple number. 
right? They look, you know, they may have a hundred people that stay and occupy the apartments, but if you stay in like a single home, it's best to work it out with the homeowner. Mm -hmm. Very good answer. And I hope everyone's listening uh, because I, I think it's safe to say that the majority of people on here are renters. I, I would say, you know, I'm kind of gauging it <laughs> that, I, you know, I think that's the case. So it's good to know that we have uh, now Kayla. She said, right, please talk to your landlord before eviction has taken place. I offered a deal with my tenant or he could have chosen eviction on his credit. She said we worked it out so he can now rent again. So she, you know, who, who owns property as a landlord, <laughs> she's saying, look, you know, you, you can work it out. Just do your best, work it out. Like Brother Rail yes. was saying, draft up a contract. You know, people understand things happen, but don't just go for, to the full extreme and just be disrespectful and, mm -hmm. you know, you know, tell them I, I can sue you because most most people don't know about renter's rights. Most people don't know about property rights and most people who own property do. So um, that's not a game you want to play. So very good answer, my brother, and very good question. I think that's going to help a lot of people. Uh, we're going to speed through some more of these. Uh, I'm going to put the website again for those of you who want one-on-ones to kind of get an assessment of where your credit is, what it takes to, re you know, repair it, like an honest overview. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I recommend this company. I just put the link there again for that. And then from there, you can choose the packages that are best for you. Next question here. Uh, where can I, what can I do to go from 400 to at least 600, the first step? Great question. So let me answer it like this. Again, we have to be able to personalize that particular um, situation because, again, if you don't have credit established, then the route that you would take will be different than someone who has already had credit established, but yet they've, you know, had collection on accounts report to the credit file um, or even late payments report. Um, so we have to find out exactly what occurred. And then what we'll do is we'll draft a game plan. We'll let you know what the game plan is, um, but we'll draft the game plan. Now, I do want to add that in one of our packages, well, actually two of our packages, the, the two, um, the second and third package, we have a six-month personalized credit building game plan. This is when we delve into your credit. We take a full look, a very in-depth look in your credit profile, and then we will draft a monthly and every month you will see it but a monthly game plan that you will do on your end okay you'll do it on your end and all and all you have to do is follow the steps it's very simple and very easy i i, as I, long I as chose you, that when you're <laughs> yeah go ahead man. <laughs> yes sir and so once you have um you know once you receive your game plan depending on the package that you've purchased what we'll do is that we need to well we're going to follow up with you every Sunday, okay? So we're going to give you a call every Sunday. You know, don't be alarmed. You schedule the time <laughs> and we'll give you a call, just a simple 15 minute follow up, okay? Now, because it's very important in order for you to build and be able to achieve excellent credit, you have to be responsible. It can't just be, it's not just a situation where it's that we'll help you. And we do help a lot of people. Um, but then what will happen is some people, because they may not have known certain things about, you know, the credit system or how to maneuver it. What will happen is they'll fall back into where they were before we increase their credit scores. Um, mm -hmm. So we don't want that to happen with you. So the second and third package are actually the better packages. They're, they're the best packages, actually, because we not only want to develop a personalized game plan for you that's going to be very intricate and very advanced, very detailed, but this will allow us to be able to uh, help you by helping you help yourself because this is more so of a self-empowerment movement that we're doing. We don't just want to assist you in regards to us doing it for you. We want you to take control of the will because granted, after we have completed services, we want you to say, well, now I'm empowered. I know what to do. I know how to do it. I know how to maneuver it. And then this will then lead you to be able to do great things in your personal life and also leave a legacy for yourself. 